Do you think things are getting better or do you think things are getting worse? For veterans? Yeah. Well, <laughs> obviously they're getting worse. Um, we All we have to do is look at how the liberals prioritize veterans' issues compared to the issues of people like Omar Khadr. Yeah. Omar Khadr gets $10 million while our veterans are consistently shortchanged. They can't um, follow through with their, their promises for their pension for life. Veterans groups are outraged about that. Um, the liberals... Uh, it came to light a couple months ago that our military, our active service military, have to share sleeping bags amongst themselves because they don't have enough. Likewise, with their rucksacks, they the rucksacks that they do use are 30 plus years old and they have to share those amongst themselves. Then we uh, all we have to do is keep looking at um, how our ill equipped our military is. We're buying used fighter jets from Australia, which will be older than some of our fighter pilots. And that's the Liberals' idea of taking care of the Canadian military. Yeah, that Australian F-18 purchase is particularly odious because mm -hmm. it's so obviously a fit of peak by Trudeau against the United States over a quarrel involving Bombardier. Bombardier, of course, is, is, uh, I don't know if we've covered it in The Rebel yet. Uh, after all the billions they've taken, they've laid off thousands, sold out, and they just sort of took the money and run, and we're still neglecting to, I, when, uh, when we were in Israel, we saw the F-35 jet in action, and I mean, I, I, I've seen F-15s and F-16s, they're pretty amazing in the sky. When that F-35 takes wing, it's the toughest, baddest thing in the air. I'm a little bit embarrassed that instead of buying that, we're buying the castaways from Australia uh, so they can get more modern jets. I just, it's so symbolic. It's so symbolic, isn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, the Canadian Air Force is now caught in the crossfire between Justin Trudeau's anti-Trump attitude and his devotion to spending money outside of Canada as opposed to spending it within Canada. Another uh, slight um, that the Liberals have committed against veterans is the Christopher Garnier case. He battered murdered and disposed of an off-duty police woman. Her name was Catherine Campbell. He stuffed her in a garbage can like garbage. Christopher Garnier was never a veteran, never served a day in the Canadian military, never gave anything of himself to this country, but his dad is. And because of that, Veterans Affairs under the Liberals was paying for a private psychiatrist for Christopher Garnier, a convicted murderer behind bars, because getting Christopher Garnier treatment for the PTSD that he admits he gave himself right. when he murdered this woman somehow benefits his veteran's father. And what a slap in the face of Canadian veterans who uh, some of them are taking their lives because they don't have access to timely mental health care. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show, weekdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Every day I do a monologue, interview a guest, and read my fan mail and my hate mail. To subscribe, go to therebel.media slash shows.